Welcome to the Farms.com Risk Management Commodity Marketing Video Series brought to you and sponsored by DeKalb Brand Seeds, where we're trying to help uh, farmers across Canada do a better job of that commodity marketing. Uh, today we're going to talk in this uh, sixth video series, we're going to talk about global economies and its impact on grain prices. We're going to look to the past to see what the future may bring. Um, to start off with, I've got an economic cycle. Uh, that we're going to look at and you know in 2008-9 we were going through that contraction phase and in 2010-11 we're going into this recovery phase. We're not quite at the peak yet uh, but understanding this cycle knowing where we're at any given point in time can actually help us determine whether grain prices are going to move higher or lower because this will determine whether demand gets destroyed or whether demand starts to improve. A prime example is um, you know global GDP in the last 10 years, you can see from this chart, the average uh, growth was 2.8%. And in 2009, um, we had a little bit of a dip. That was the only exception, down about 1.9%. But overall, still positive growth. Um, you can see in 2008, in this chart here, this is the December corn futures chart, see that elevator down. That was demand destruction because of that 2008, 2009 um, recession. It actually happened because of the United States. Uh, the United States had 0% growth in 2008 and about a minus 2.6% in 2009 due to that financial subprime mortgage crisis. Um, another example is a soybean chart uh, for November 2008 where again we take that elevator down and soybeans go from 1636 per bushel down to about 850 per bushel drop of 48 percent within four months so that was demand destruction because of that res global recession now during that global recession we actually had a couple countries like China actually growing through that recession in fact it was growing at eight plus percent through that period including India was growing at eight plus percent so I think both these countries contributed to it was the uh, these were the engines of growth that took the global economy out of that recession and in fact uh, since 09 uh, we've recovered in 2010 the economy in 2011 looks good uh, looking for a 4.4 percent growth globally and it's caused a, a better demand with a lack of supply this is the cotton chart that's taken prices to all-time record highs to 227 US per pound so, knowing uh, that economic cycle is very important in determining whether we're going to destroy or create some demand, understanding where those global and domestic economies are can also help us determine where those grain prices are going in the future. Remember, it's never perfect. Some years are better than others. We can manage the risk. We can manage the volatility, but we cannot predict the future. What is your marketing plan? So. Thanks for joining us today. We hope we've shed some light on global economies and what impact it can have on grain prices in the future. Uh, in our next video series, we're going to look at uh, international markets and exports. Uh, so until then, thanks for spending some time with us today. Have a great day.